Hi everybody, it's Keith with Bob CNC. Welcome to Shop Talk. I'm here as always with my best friend Robert. And I'm here with my best friend Keith. And hey. You look awful tall with that piece of wood in your hand. Any difference? <laughs> no. <laughs> That's just not very yeah, nice. No, no that, I, was, I, was, uh, I was flying through, had to stop in Chicago, flying yeah. into Michigan. Okay. And uh, the Celtics had played the Pistons. Okay. And this is years ago. I would say But so I thought, well. geez, it's so cool because the Celtics were seated up by this area, getting ready to get on the plane. And uh, two of these guys, Kevin McHale and I can't think of, maybe Robert Parrish, walked by me. I'm not tall. Not? They felt about that tall. Really? These guys are monsters. Huh. Yeah. And that was years ago. Okay. They're even bigger monsters now. Okay. So I'm not tall. But you're a monster. No, but... You have a complex. Okay. Anyway, what are we talking about today? I, I'm done. Some basketball no, story? I want to talk about the Celtics myself. Okay, well, I wanted to talk about Alarm 2 because yes. it's really still the biggest conversation I have on the phone is always Alarm 2. It and scares we, the heck out of people. Yeah, we have... Oh, uh, it says Alarm. Well, a lot of people think it's the machine that's messing up, and it's, yeah. it's really not. It's really well, the it's setup error, right? It's how you set up the machine. So, right. Keith and I are going to try to uh, walk through Alarm 2 again. Yeah, go ahead. And so we'll have a few videos and a documentation. But uh, Well, the first thing we have to talk about, our Alarm 2 relates to the cutting area. Yeah. And it relates to how your workpiece is set up. We're going to use this to illustrate. Yeah. So why don't you tell so, about the... So Alarm 2 is always you're telling the machine to move outside of the cutting area. So I just want to want to walk through a little bit. If you were at the home position, let's say you home your machine. How are you telling your machine to do something? Well, using UGS platform, right? So you've, you know, you've, you've homed the machine and it's at the home position because you click the home button. Well, wouldn't it be though? Well, okay, yes. It would be in UGS that that would happen. Yeah. Correct. So the next thing that you could do if you want to explore how big your cutting area is or where the cutting area bid uh -huh. is if you have a bit here, which we don't, but if you had a bit that was poking down, right, and you've homed your, your machine, uh, you could actually tell it to go 24 inches if you have the Evolution 4, right? Right, and then it would go to here, right? And you can see that it's actually a little bit even off the, the cutting surface. So that would be as far as the X you can go, and then you could go 24 inches in the Y, right? right. And then if you just jog back, 24 inches. 24 inches. Can I do it? Yeah, you can. Oh, this is fun. Okay, that's enough. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> now you're back to square one. Yeah. Right? So you created a 24 inch square. That is your cutting area. Right. You cannot cut outside the cutting area. So let's say that. Uh, We've designed a, a flag. Yeah, because you got a lot of guys are doing that. And you're going to place it in and the cutting the, area. Yes, I am. And it's a long flag. Okay. So now All I'm, right. I'm thinking that I want to be able to do it right here. Okay. So you could see now, if you were wanting to run G-code all the way through here, that uh, you would be out of the cutting area. And you would not, not my would be able to cut right. past that point. And my machine's going to know that because when you homed it... It put in soft limits. That's right. Your G-code starts here. Yeah. And then when you set up your workpiece, you set it up right, well, close to here. Right. And so now doing all the calculations in the computer, yeah. your machine is saying, I can't go that far. That's all Alarm 2 means. Right. Another one that's uh, probably uh, uh, just as common yep. is if a person just wants to lay his flag right up to the side here. Right. You can see in the home position, I can't get to this last little bit. Yes. Right. Same thing on the other side, right? Right. If I put my piece way over on this side, uh, the bit can only go to, to this point here. Right. One more thing is, you know, and I think I, everybody is probably getting it, is, is if I put it back here. Obviously, the bit stops here. The center of travel in the X direction is not the center of the spoil board. Right. It's actually offset. So you, you've got to be in the cutting area. One last thing, though, and that's your Z height. Yeah. Yeah, you mentioned that, and that's probably the hardest one. Most people, uh, uh, you know, pretty, pretty much get the... Uh, 24 inch by 24 inch cutting area right what makes the 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 z difficult is it's relative not like your relatives like uncle john or aunt martha yeah but it's relative in the sense that the bit can be short or long yep and your piece of wood can be short or long so your zero can be up here down here can be anywhere based on your bit length and the material thickness so 
when you get 3.3 inches of travel, like you said, if you have the Evolution right. uh, series, that doesn't mean that you get 3.3 inches of travel anywhere. You get 3.3 inches of travel total. So if you use an inch to go down, then you only have 2.3 left. Right. So, so that one is a little bit trickier. Same thing though, but here's what happens a lot of times, especially for folks that are brand new to this. They hone the machine, they clamp their wood, open the file and they hit play. The first thing that the, the G code file is going to do is try to raise up the Z, right? But if your Z is all the way at the top, it can't raise any further. Yep. Boom. You get the alarm too. My machine doesn't work. Nope. Your machine's working fine. It's telling you I cannot go up any higher than I am because I'm already at the top. Right. So uh, that really is. I mean, the, it's uh, hard enough learning yeah. how to communicate with a human being, but then to have to learn how to communicate with a machine. Actually, and that, I find it easier to learn how to communicate I've noticed. with a machine. I've yeah. noticed. Yeah. Saying. Well, yeah, we're working on that. Okay. All right. Well, I'm working. Well, guys, if you. <laughs> I don't even know I'm working. I'm working. Really? Yeah. Anyway, guys, if you have any questions I regarding CNC, distracted. you can get a hold of us. Or him. You can get a hold of us at the help desk at Bob C and C. Till next time, guys.